Coach Reddick another round of applause.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm so happy today is here. I can finally sleep. I can breathe. I can't go to trouble. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for being here today, taking time to look into these schedules to celebrate my amazing husband. I appreciate all of you so very much, and today would not have been the same without all of you. I want to acknowledge my Reddit family. Can you all just stand? You are my husband's and his niece and his cousins. They travel from other states and um, other cities, but I'm so happy to see you all. I'm happy that you were able to be here with us. Thank you. <laughs> I also want to thank everyone who worked together to make today happen, especially Dr. Ford and her amazing staff, uh, Atlanta Public Schools, Quakia Lane, Josh Brooks, and the Alumni Association. Thank you for all of your efforts and making today just a beautiful celebration. <sighs> to my husband, yeah. Michael. I truly admire and appreciate your tribe, your passion, and the love that you have for your team, the school, and the players, and just South Atlanta in general. I really, really admire that. When I talk to so many of your former players, a lot of them are here today, but they share memories and um, tell me how you have influenced their lives, both on the court and off. I know that all of your efforts and your hard work was truly worth it. A very wise person, my sister-in-law Sandra, said to me yesterday that good things come to those who wait, but great things come to those who work hard. And you have worked very hard very hard. When I met you, you were a player, then you became a coach, and now you're an athletic director. And I'm so proud of you, not just today, but every day of my life, I am proud to be Mrs. Michael Bell. the last 30 years for anything. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving this school, your players. I'm so proud of you. You deserve this. I'm sorry, y'all. But you deserve this and so much more. Thank you. But we want to give the open the floor for former players. I see there's a bunch of them in the building. And if there are any former players, uh, we're going to ask that you would come up, just line up on this side over here, uh, to just give a few words, if you don't mind. Um, if nobody's going to come, I'm going to call you by name. I've been here long enough to know most of them. So, uh, if at this time, please, I would love to uh, grace Coach Reddit with some remarks from contributions made by his former athletes. Good morning, good morning. I met Coach Red when I was about 13 years old. I was, play, I was playing middle school ball. My mom, my dad, an entire family went to South Carolina for what we once called the George High School. And they grew up in this neighborhood where they all played multiple sports and were student athletes. So I knew I wanted to come to this school no matter what, to follow in their footsteps. Even my first ever basketball and AAU coach, starting at the age of five, Coach Jake, went to George High. So I knew I wanted to come here back. 
I wanted to play for Coach Ray. Every time I was around him, I was being a sponge. I used to go to games as a middle school kid and watch Derek, Andre, and Nick play and just think about when it would be my turn to play. I had a chance to play for Coach Ray. And one thing I can say is we won, we won a lot, and we dominated. Final four appearances and region championships. Coach Ray always cared about academics first and then basketball second. Him seeing me graduate with my bachelor's degree and then a year and a half later go back and get my master's is all he ever wanted to see from his players. Coach, you always going over and beyond for your players and South Carolina as a whole. You allow me an opportunity to come back to my alma mater and be a part of your coaching staff where I once played it meant a lot to me. I appreciate all you have done. Most folks get their roses when they get the bottom, but we want to give you your roses at the top. Coach, you're a legend in my books, and I appreciate you for everything you deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Coach is a legend, man. One more time for Coach Ray. So I, I, before, I, before I start talking about Coach, I do want to recognize Joaquita uh, Lane for the effort she put into making all this happen. Um, so one more time before I think about this. She's been really doing a lot of work and making things happen. We want to be down there. I get it, but hey, you flew all over. Um, Coach, thank you for everything you've done for South Atlanta, for me personally. Um, we knew we were going to work hard, we were going to play hard, we were going to have a lot of fun, and we were going to win. Um, I remember in the story, uh, so the coach, coach had on a work jump court, but he can work you away from the court too. I remember visiting with Coach a couple times and uh, going to uh, uh, one of the places that he uh, had to do a lot of work at. And um, <laughs> we were doing some work, and then a couple guys were working, we were sweating real bad, and it was hot. Um, it was in the middle of the summer. I was like, man, they're going to have to pay us a lot of money for all the work we're doing. And so, the end of the day comes, and we get to the uh, end of the day, and we get ready to get in the car, we, we load up in the truck. And if we didn't close the door, because we hadn't got some money yet. So Coach said, hey, close the door. Coach, we can't close the door yet, Coach. So the guy we was working for, he had to pay the head, Coach. Coach looked back, he didn't pay y'all? No, Coach. Coach said, I got the money, now get him the car. So more of the story of that is Coach worked us, he worked us hard. We felt good at the end of the day. We learned a lot of good morals, a lot of good things about just being a responsible adult. Um, and seeing that his interaction with, uh, when Ms. Ray was always a blessing to be able to see uh, a black couple working together and supporting each other. And more importantly, beyond that, seeing a black positive role model. Um, I grew up in the house with my dad, but seeing another black, model, black role model in the practice, being able to show you the past of, of how to be a successful adult, how to embrace your community, how to lead, how to, uh, how to play ball. Um, and I, I made a mistake one time, you know, a couple was on the court. I'm thinking, man, this is an old coach, and I, I, I can step up here, right? Coach, coach lift weights, and coach was strong. And coach let you know how strong he was <laughs> when he came up to open that post. Um, and I felt it that day. And I knew that at that point, I had to step back and take a jump shot or something if I was going to survive this. Um, so, coach, appreciate you everything that you've done. Appreciate all the effort that you put into making this school what it is, making me what I am. Um, we love you, we appreciate you. And God bless you. I won't take too much of your time. I'm about to like set it out. Having a bad hair day, man, so it's pretty good. <laughs> but um, I'm a former player, graduated 2004. Um, my name is George Douglas. Um, Coach has been like a, he's been a, a teacher, a, a mentor, a father figure. Everything I actually grew up without a father, so um, anything I need from him, anything like anything, um, personal, financial, anything, um, he's there for me. Um, one phone call away. Um, I always appreciate you for that. Um, you and Chris Rick, um, and that's pretty much all I got to say, man. I just I, he's there for me. I appreciate you. Man. And I don't know if more than one. Coach, man, you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Um, I just want to say from a player, from the former players, that we appreciate everything you did for us. We appreciate everything you did for the program, for the school, for the neighborhood. Um, 
You know, I still remember times when you pick me up, pick other players up in the, in the legendary corner field. All of this <laughs> still happening right now. Um, you know, we used to work for you in the summertime at the new hall spot and pay up like $10. <laughs> like all day work in the hot sun. You know what I'm saying? Um, and no, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate the time. Um, this break, you know, we appreciate the time that you allow him to be with us. We want to win today. We got to take you to the movies. So. <laughs> no, no wrong, coach. I want to say you deserve it, man. And congratulations, and thank you for all you did for us, for everybody, for school, neighborhood, everyone. Just we appreciate it. Congratulations. All right, this time we're going to hear from our current. Boys basketball coach who uh, has some really big shoes to try and fill. I wouldn't try that if I was Coach Porter. I'd just do the job that I need to do. And don't worry about coaching shoes. They're big anyway. But uh, at this time, I'm going to hear my current coach, Coach Porter. How y'all doing? All right. Um, coach Reddick is a man of many sayings. Communication is the key. You are what you do. If you lie, you're lying. If you steal, you're deep. The most important thing you'll learn how to do in life is, you see that about your face, y'all. Focus, all right? And the most important one to me that's had a major impact over me, um, I hate to lose more than I love to win. And as a coach, you're, you're typically judged by wins and losses. And um, Coach Reddick has definitely done this share on the basketball court in terms of winning as a player and also winning as a coach. But one of the things that you cannot judge in numbers and any wins in tournaments or anything like that is the impact that he's had over all of the people that are here in this room and also me. Uh, quick story for you all, I was sweeping a gym up one day and it was extremely late. I had just finished doing like the concession stand and I was sweeping the gym. The coach came in there and he was like, man, don't, don't turn into me. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, don't, don't turn into me, man. You got a wife at home. Go home, man, go home. So that to me speaks more to the man that he is and the impact that he's had over my life. And uh, unfortunately, coach, um, I can't say that I'm not trying to get to at least half of your success and then sweeping the gym and doing the concession stand helps me to get two state championships and a winning record overall. Uh, looks like I'll be going to Sam's a lot more often in the next couple of years. Um, Coach, man, you deserve it. Uh, I really want you to know that. We were talking yesterday and uh, I was trying to get him to realize how how big of a deal he is. And uh, he was saying, man, well, I'll go ahead and tell the story. You might not want me to tell it, but uh, he, yesterday he was like, man, coach, Dr. Ford got me going to some commerce thing tomorrow, man. It seems like something you should go to. And I was like, no, nah, man, you should go to that. I'm like, people will talk to you that won't talk to me. And he was like, man, he's crazy. But what I want you to realize, coach, and what I really want you to understand is, you deserve all of this. And it's often hard for you to accept praise and it's often hard for you to accept all of the accolades that you receive, but you put in the time. You put in the work, and like you always say, when you put in the work, you do what you're supposed to do. You let the chips fall where they may, and now the chips have your name outside of the gym. So congratulations, Coach. Love you, man. Next, we're going to hear from South Atlanta alumni Miss Bentley. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm very nervous. I'm with this jacket full of you, as they said. It's very loud, but I'm very nervous. But um, I'm very happy to be here today. Um, good morning to all the school officials, the staff, the students, family, friends, and my fellow peers. Thank you all for your presence today. My name is Parkia Bentley Lane, and I am honored to stand before you today for this joyous occasion. First, let me start off by thanking each individual that played a part in this becoming a reality today. Although I can't name everyone, 
I would like to acknowledge our alumni president, Mr. Joshua Brooks, and Dr. Ford and his folks for carrying the support to get everything situated. We are all grateful for your efforts. I was more than eager to present this idea and even more things to learn that it was approved. What a way to come back home, just a few months shy of my 20 year class reunion, 2003 is up there, as the SBA president of the school in the South of 2003. Now, on to the man of the hour, Coach Michael Reddy. It's the only thing I can say. I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful to be a part of your village, for sure. I thought of a quote by the late great Dr. Martin Luther King when I thought of you, Coach. He once said, the true measure of a man is not how he behaves in moments of comfort and convenience, but how he stands at times of controversy and challenges. During your journey at South Carolina High School, I am pretty sure you faced countless challenges with great adversity as well. But you have been consistently great at what you are doing and what you've done. Thank you. Thank you for the many sacrifices you've made during your tenure. Thank you for the seeds that you have sown into me, my peers, other students. Thank you for being a staple in this community. And thank you for playing a major role in putting stop on all of that. Most importantly for me, thank you for sharing your life with me. Mrs. Gray, thank you for being a blessing for all of us as well. Everyone knows Ms. Deborah has always been extra supportive of Coach, his teams, and everything that he has been contributing to this community over the last 20 plus years. I had the privilege of being Ms. Deborah's mentee through a mentorship program over 20 years ago as a 15, 16 year old young lady. And I want to thank you for everything that you've gone into my life as well. Coach, I am blessed to be a part of your village, and I hope that this momentous occasion is proof that your hard work never has gone unnoticed. Long after you are retired and enjoying cocktails in the sunset, your legacy will still stand. So again, thank you, congratulations. I love you and I pray that you are able to enjoy all the peace of, of your life. Thank you. Uh, next we have uh, Corey Coyer, uh, Atlanta Public Schools Assistant Athletic Director. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Uh, great greetings from uh, Mr. Jasper Blue, our district athletic director, myself, and uh, my colleague, Riddell Jackson, uh, all part of the Department of Athletics here at APS. And Coach Ray, uh, when I first met you back in 2000, I think it was 14 when I first came to APS, uh, ended up becoming an AD at Washington High School in 2016. And I saw the passion that you had for athletics. Uh, especially at South Atlanta. And coming back to ABS um, on a district level, you really don't realize when you're a school level AD how much you do for a program. And I realized it when I became, when I came back. You are a beloved figure, not just in South Atlanta, but for ABS as a whole. You do so much for these young men and women here. You bring a lot of things to our attention that sometimes on the district level we may not even think about. You know, and I appreciate you for that. We have conversations. You know, sometimes when you call, I'm like, you know what, ready to get this one today. You know, but it's always a level of respect that I have for you as a individual, as a coach, as a person, everything. And Department of Athletics, we really appreciate everything that you do. Once again, not just for South Atlanta, 
but for the district as a whole. And from myself, from Mr. Jewell, from Mr. Jackson, and from everyone at the Department of Athletics, we want to say thank you. This is a well-deserved honor. We appreciate everything that you do, that you currently do, and that you will do in the future. Thank you. That the next individual coming up end up coaching alongside Coach Reddy. Coach Reddy said, yeah, we got this great player named Derek Bagels. We're going to win a state championship. He was trying to sell me the coach. I had, I'm new to Jordan. I hadn't heard of Derek Bagels. Um, you know, so, but I was excited. So then this uh, new guy that came in, I think we came in together teaching, got the, the job as assistant coach. Then they won a state championship with Derek Bagels and the guys. I'm like, this man got my championship ring. <laughs> And a few years later, we ended up talking. He said, yeah, I'm going to go off and go to law school. And he left. And so South Atlanta doesn't just produce great students and great citizens. There are also great people that work here that pour into the lives of children. And the individual that's going to come up next left here and went to become an attorney and became and is an American civil rights attorney and activist. You turn on TV, I turn on TV one day, and I saw his face. I'm like, that's, oh my God. And so at this time, with some words, former assistant coach and current uh, civil rights attorney, attorney and activist, uh, the Honorable <laughs> Lee Mary. Coach Reddy, man, we love you. When uh, Coach K gave me a call and said that this event was happening, I said, well, I guess I'll be there and book the flight. And uh, that was a few days ago. <laughs> so um, I came in from Texas. I started coaching at South Atlanta in 2009. Is that right? No, no that's not true. That's 2007 when I started. And uh, we were at a temporary campus. Uh, and I wanted to get involved in coaching. I was coaching girls middle school basketball in Camden, New Jersey. But I'm an old football player. And so I came here and I said, I want to get involved with the football team because that's where my, my knowledge base was. And, and um, I said, coach, coach asked me to coach. I said, I don't know anything about coaching basketball. Uh, I don't really think about basketball. He says, that's all right, that's fine. Uh, you know, you've got Coach K, uh, Coach uh, Caleb, Coach Steve, they'll teach you about basketball. The players will teach you about basketball. I need you to teach them about life. I need you to teach them about fundamental. I need you to teach your players that I love is still T-I-E. And he taught me how, about how to create an oasis in the desert, uh, places, uh, opportunities for hope for communities like this. And I took what we learned from coaching basketball and I took it to a law practice. I began serving families like Ahmaud Arbery's family when he was good down in shot in South Georgia. I started serving families like George Floyd's family. And I didn't serve him like a lawyer. I served him like Coach Reddy taught me how to coach. I served him with my time. I served him with my, uh, with my compassion. And so those, those things that I learned that I picked up here under your program is literally changing the world, folks. And we appreciate you, okay? We love you. And uh, he, he begged to talk to me. He said he had something to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to appreciate you for your time. Um, I remember when I first met you over at um, Thomas Park. You didn't even know I was a part of the program. You asked me about high school. I was going to I was in eighth grade, going to ninth grade. And I told you that I was considering going to South Atlanta High School. He said, well, come on, get in the back of the truck. We got the cheeseburgers and we got a uh, tournament over at Bell Middle School. And I played music for the first time. And it was just a joy. And um, the rest is history. The state championship uh, just blessing us with your presence. And I really appreciate that to you and your wife. Thank you. I think it was definitely 2007. That was the year I got here. You got my ring. So, uh, I hope 2007. And a lot of times we, we leave and, and give back everywhere else. But I want to bring to the stage the honorable, the respected, the loving, the caring uh, District 12 City Councilman, Antonio Lewis. Thank you so much for that. When, when we say uh, part of the lane, the Bentley family is so big, that's why they say Bentley. The Bentley family don't play on this side of town. But uh, part of the lane, when she hit me up, coach, I, I knew you told me not to do this, right? I knew I knew the consequences of doing this, right? Uh, but I knew she could get past that stuff and be a little nicer uh, to, to, to her than you are uh, some folks. But when she hit me up, I knew we're going to move a mountain. I knew that every single city council person needed to sign it. I knew that the city council president, the, the mayor, all of them needed to be invested in this. And so uh, that's why we made sure you did, uh, Coach. I also want to say that uh, when I came here, 
I never want to thank anybody except you will, but uh, when uh, Vincent Banks was here and in his years here, I would get off on the middle school. You could come watch him play and watch you sit on the bench and just sit so cool. And so whenever I came over to South Carolina and one of your sayings to us was the weakest link. Always be working on your weakest part of your game. Always be working on the weakest part of your life. It's something I have got into my life full out. Uh, for uh, full out, I'm always working on whatever I consider to be the weakest part. You did that with our team. You said we're only as good as our weakest link. And so our weakest link we need to be better than the best player on the other team. And that's something that we work towards. I also want to come in on that uh, working for Coach Ray in that school you band, right? Uh, when we used to work for Coach Ray, he used to put us on top of a roof, right? We, 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 may, we may lay down the entire roof, uh, fix up the entire apartment building. When we leave, he said, how much do we get paid, coach? He said, well, minimum wage. <laughs> and then he pulled out his calculator, and he, cal he calculated it up based on minimum wage, which was about $5.15 in the state of Georgia at the time. We would also include our lunch. And so, now I'm just messing <laughs> But it was, a, it, was a, it was a really good time. <laughs> Coach, they say that God blesses those who make his life, his low life. That's something that you've done for 22 years at South Carolina High School. And when you say you made his low life, look around. Think about the people that you've affected. You made God low life. Coach, can I get you to come up here for a second so I can read this proclamation to you, go. The goals, the recognition, population from the Atlanta City Council, the recognition of Michael Reddy. Whereas the Atlanta City Council is pleased to recognize Michael Reddy, professional basketball player, coach, and small business owner. And whereas Michael was born in Savannah, Georgia, and attended Solomon C. Johnson High School from 1980 to 1984. He played for Stetson University in Florida and averaged 11.2 points and 6.9 rebounds per game. And whereas, Reddy played with the USA student team tournament in Taiwan and later in Seoul. He was also named MVP of the 1981 Tangerine Bowl tournament, recording 20 points, 11 rebounds, and three blocks in their championship game victory over Nigeria. And whereas, in 1984, NBA draft, he was selected in the sixth round by the Milwaukee Bucks and played professionally aboard in Belgium, France, Holland, Venezuela, France, Italy, and Turkey. He won five national championships throughout his duration. And whereas, after his retirement, Coach Reddick started his coaching career as head coach of the boys' basketball team at South Carolina High School for 23 years and his team won several regional, sub, several regional, sub-regional titles and tournament titles, including the Atlanta Public School Tournament for nine consecutive years, and 12 appearances in a state tournament and two state championships. And whereas, currently, Coach Reddick operates as the athletic director at South Carolina High School and is actively involved in several exposure camps and mentoring programs. And whereas, Reddick has mentored, nurtured, and served as a role model for many student athletes and has embraced students, the community, and fans throughout the city of Atlanta. Now, therefore, it be resolved that we, members of the Atlanta City Council, on behalf of the citizens of Atlanta, do hereby recognize Michael Reddick for his astonishing professional basketball career and for his dedication and commitment to South Carolina High School and excellence in athletics.
I respect Coach Bay so much because we've seen schools win championships by recruiting students all across the state to come and play for their home school. I respect him because he builds talent from what he has in the community. He doesn't go out and pluck someone else from another community. Home grows, you guys. I respect that. Oh, he's always optimistic. He's always smiling. He always finds a way to find the positive in anything that comes his way. As a coach, as an AD, as a man, just as a person, and I respect that. A, you're admired. Just look around, coach. When it was brought to us to say, can we do something for Coach Reddit? He made phone calls. People came from Texas, from Florida. They came from their jobs just to show honor to you. And we're so appreciative of that. C, you're a cheerleader. For every sport, for the school, for the community, for every young man, he wants the best in all of us. So you heard about what he's done. You heard about what he's done for young boys to become young men. If we could have more people like Coach Reddy to really help to build our young boys up to become young men, not just to go off and do great things in the NBA, but just to be a good, kind person, to be able to give back to others. He's selfless. He gives, and he gives, and he gives. And then the H, he has hard working skills. He works harder than no one else in this field, not even me. So if he leaves here at 7 o'clock on he's calling me like, Rob, why are you still here? Are you good? I'm good, Coach Ray. He works on the weekends. He works early in the morning. He works late at night. And he's a great husband. So when the call came to say, hey, can we make this happen for Coach Reddick? He's been a task. And I'm so happy that the day is here and over because Coach Reddick is everywhere. You can't do anything without him. He must know everything that happens in this gym. It, it, it is his gym, he can report today. So, making up stories to say, Coach, we have to go to a, a lunch today at the Commerce Club. He goes online and looks up the Commerce Club. I don't know where it's located. And then today was like, okay, can you pick me up? And I'm, I'm looking at him saying, like, why do I have to pick up that board? But he came anyway to pick me up so I could ride with him. He didn't the nose out of my way. It's what, what you need, Doc. I, I, I appreciate you. He's an honest person. He keeps it real. He's going to have to laugh. And if anyone else in my building, I know that if Michael Reddy is to my left or to my right, on my front or my back, I'm good. And many times you don't find people like that, that say what they mean, mean what they say, and let your word be your bond. That goes a long way. Just respect, work ethics, being true to who you are. It goes a long way. So not just young men that have turned to great men. You learn so much from this one man. Hopefully what he imparted to you will help you be great men to help to build other young boys to be great men. If we were to do this collectively in our community, and always talk about positive things in our community, we'll be greater than what we are today. Many times we talk bad about the school, but this is only a building. We represent South Atlanta. I'm proud to be a part of South Atlanta. Far away from where I grew up in South Carolina, but I would not want to be anywhere else to really impart knowledge and love to young students that look just like me. To say you are loved.
to say you are great, to say you can be better than what you are. You do not have to be a part of your environment. You have the skill set, you have the will, you have people who believe in you more than you believe in yourself to encourage you to be better than what you are, or to be better than your fellow person. It's up to you. And this is what Coach Ray does each and every day when he walks into the building, which great presence. As he walks into the building and ducks in every door he walks into. Have you noticed that? When he walks, he has to be really intentional because he has to duck because he's hollering in the doorway. A man of stellar, a man of grace, a man that I respect. I don't say it often, Coach Ray. We have uh, real conversations where he may call me, okay, Patricia, listen, don't do that. Would you consider doing this? For someone who tells me the truth, don't lie to me, and you never have, thank you, Coach Ray. Thank you, family, for coming from near and far to be here to support Coach Ray because we love him dearly and Coach Ray, it shows. Um, I, I was hoping that you would cry today. Uh, we have a joke that says, uh, you know, real men do cry. He's like, no, no. Men don't cry. And they do. But when he was referencing when a student got hurt, and um, I'm like, okay, you're, you're hurt. You can cry. He's like, you better not cry. And I was like, cry if you're hurt. It's like, you better not cry. It's okay if you cry. Um, but I know that you feel the love. And, uh, and we just want to say thank you uh, for all that you have done for us, all that you will continue to do in your new role as AD. Um, it's not retirement. We're not just giving you your flowers and then walk away. He's not retiring. He's coming back. Um, and so we're just so thankful to have you here. Um, and I'm not going to close out without allowing you to say something, Coach Ray. And then once we do that, we will walk over to the gym uh, to make to do the, uh, the revealing. And so what we had to do yesterday, we, we've been in cahoots for a minute, Mr. Ray and I, you know, to Don't say, make it work. I, I need him to leave early on Wednesday. Get him out of the building. Make sure he leaves by 4 o'clock so we can put up the plaques. And so thank you, Mrs. Ray, for all that you do have done and will continue to do as you support Coach Ray. Coach Ray, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. First of all, thank you, dear. I just learned something from uh, one of my former players, Kosky. He got some notes down in his phone when he was building it. So I wanted to jot some notes down quickly. Before I go any further, uh, you know I support the man. You know my favorite song from the band. You know the rest of the football game. You know? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right, to everyone. This was a surprise to me, so I just got a couple of things out. You love something. It's not a job. So me coming in the South Carolina, this is not a job. This is something I'm doing because I love to do it. When you care about something, you always give your best. So I've been fortunate over the years to be up here at South Carolina to do something that I love and something I want to give my best for. The value of that word still to me as a person was very precious to me. So I want to make sure that when I do my best, I try to impart some of that and some of it to the people who I touch. So, Coach Porter said, I always say, do your best and let the chips fall away they may. That's something I really, really believe in. And one thing that Dr. Forbes mentioned about my boys, I got some daughters in here too. All right, I got some daughters in here. Where, where my daughters at? Raise your hand for a little bit. There we go. I'm always, always, I, 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 I love to see what we do. Um, I learned a long time ago not to call names out because I'll forget somebody and I don't want to hurt any feelings, but I want to thank my wife, I want to thank my family, my co-workers, my friends, my supervisors, uh, the South Atlanta community as a whole, the students of South Atlanta High School, which is what I'm championing for. Any of the coaches who coach with me, and I've had some great ones. I've been very fortunate and very lucky. Anyone who I may have touched in the part of my life. Uh, but a grand shout out to my players, my basketball players who've been out with me. I mean, we reunions, we do things, and we're going to have one last one the last Thursday in June. Come on out, we're going to have the barbecue. Um, but I want to make sure that can't be. Uh, 
One thing I wanted, you guys tell me I used to help out there working for minimum wage. <laughs> I've been fortunate in life. I used to have a business storage facility, U-Haul. I have some uh, apartments here, everything else like that. And for my guys to earn some money, they would come out with me on Saturdays and they would do some work. And uh, but, uh, they told me I didn't pay them too well, so uh, it made me strong men. Excellence <laughs> <laughs> is not a habit. It's a habit, not something you do once in a while. So to all of those, everybody here, what I want to say is uh, the journey of South Atlanta could, could, could be a movie, could be a movie, and it have to be a mini series because there's so many stories I can tell. But I am humbled and touched that you would bestow this honor on me. And I was told that when you get old, you repeat things. So for bestowing this honor on me, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you again. I love you. and. Anytime I can do anything for anybody other than money at this point. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Through the years of happiness, joys, and tears, will they?